Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen, along with the insane Daryl Wayne. Don't ask why. And we have uh, Karen Howard in our remote studio here in Washington, D.C. We go to upstate New York to visit with Robert Clancy, the co-host of the Mindset Reset TV show and the uh, author of numerous books, including Soul Ciphers. Uh, Robert is going to talk to us today and give us some inspiration on finding peace. Robert, welcome. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you. And, yeah, finding peace. I was reminded of this, um, an incident from my childhood. So my inspirational words are, it's true you'll never find and or have a bad view at the top of a mountain of hope. But the view is even better when you're lifted upon the, the shoulders of faith by the divine hands of love. And uh, it's actually uh, more than the hands of uh, divine love that lifted me. It was actually a guy who looked like Paul Bunyan um, who pulled me out of a swamp. I, um, I was playing in this mud uh, behind our house, uh, and I got stuck in the woods and um, actually got all the way up to my, my neck and my chin was resting on the ground, and I, I knew I only had minutes to live. I was seven years old. You can imagine how terrifying that was. It was getting wow. dark out. And I found peace at that moment. I just surrendered, and I, I sat there for a moment, and this voice or something came over me and said, just one more scream right now. And I did, and this guy heard it. You know, his daughter was in the backyard, um, she told him there was a cat in the woods and he found me and his arms you know took all the strength he hooked me under mine and pulled me out of this mud how does finding peace relate to health in your mind it's being at peace with where you are in life and sometimes you need to surrender to the things that are before you that are not so pleasant things that are negative and understanding that there is a big picture of play and that you will get through it. It's just like getting through the night. There's going to be a dawn. It's the way it works. There's always cycles. If I had thought at times in my life when things were so bad, how are they ever going to get better and gave up, I wouldn't be here today. And I wouldn't have had all this amazing uh, journey with these uh, beautiful souls that I've met along, along this pathway if I had just given up then. And I came very close to giving up then when I was 19. And it, you know, I think back to that moment and think of how much I would have missed all this beautiful, you know, things that have been created through helping others and kindness. I would, I would, I would say I see this all the time with people who are having struggles in their life and they, um, it responds physically in their body and they don't connect the two. Yeah, and it, you know, you made an important point. It's like smiling actually changes the chemicals in your mind and can affect your health, just having a positive outlook. Uh, there's a woman who swims every week in the pool. She's in her 90s. She's there at 5.30 in the morning. I started doing a daily routine just like her because she was always so small, full of smiles that I was like, I got to get some of this. And I know it has affected her and her longevity and uh, her health in, in profound, positive ways. I just had a deja vu of being six years old, first grade, coming home from uh, uh, first grade. It was raining. I was wearing a yellow slicker on my head, on my body, and I got stuck in the mud, and I could not move, and I was screaming, and nobody would help me. And all of a sudden, two powerful arms pulled me out of the mud. It was my mom. Yeah, and I hadn't thought about that in years, and you just reminded me of it. And the peace that came from that moment was amazing. And yeah, when I saw that guy at the other end of the swamp that appeared, and I was just like, "I'm over here!" I was yelling. I was crying for joy. I was in such gratitude that I was going to go home and see my parents again, and be able to see my my brothers and sister, and. and that's the only thing I thought of. They say your life flashes before your eyes. The only thing that flashed before my eyes was just love. But six years, seven years old, there's not much to flash. It go by. Yeah. It would go by <laughs> like six <laughs> times. 
since I only lived in love up until that point. <laughs> exactly. Robert, thanks for joining us. Hey, join Robert on LateNightHealth.com. Just click on his picture, um, and it'll take you to his website. You can also visit him at uh, uh, on his uh, TV show website, which is Mindset Reset TV. Dot com mindset reset TV dot com and you can uh, see him and his co-host uh, Lisa Winston uh, and do all the good things that uh, they talk about on their show uh, Robert thanks a lot we will talk to you again next week all right appreciate it okay thank you and thank you for listening if you don't get our number two of late night health join us at late night health dot com late night health dot com hour two comes up in just a couple moments don't you dare go away more coming up the show continues in a moment if you're listening to late night health right now you're part of the growing target of baby boomers we're serving hi i'm daryl wayne producer of late night health inviting you to join the late night health family If you have any business targeting the growing boomer market, Late Night Health is the ideal advertising vehicle for you. From vitamins to insurance, alternative health to Western-style medicine, Late Night Health caters to the growing population of those over 40 years old. This vibrant demographic has expendable income to fight aging, purchase travel, take care of aging parents, or just have fun. Find out about the advertising opportunities with Late Night Health. Call us at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308 or email us at info at latenighthealth.com. That's info at latenighthealth.com. Join Late Night Health as we empower people to take charge of their own health care. Call now at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308. 